Today is going to be a great day. We're going to try to build a PC today. Let's get it. So this is the area where we are going to be building our little itty bitty PC today. As you can tell, we got some parts here. We got a little Jon Snow. We got an MZXT case. It's going to be great. Have I ever built a PC before? No. Is it probably going to be harder than I think? No. I pretty much have all the pieces except for one thing, so let's go. Can I help you? You want to help me? Yeah. Just that flat down. Push it down. Good job. Whoa, whoa. So these are going to be my helpers today. You guys going to help me? Yeah. Are we making a video? Yes. Oh, yes. Okay. Get in the way. We are trying to open this. There! Whoa! It's a wire. Whoa! Yeah! It fell over. Oh, it's too big. How are we doing so far? Okay, so we got both of our monitors, and then this is our desk map. Is it bumpy? It is kind of bumpy, huh? I can sleep on here. Oh boy. And this is what we're gonna be going with. Cable extensions on the left. We got our- John Snow. <laughs> yes, we have our John Snow over there. UGA 1650 SCC, uh, any data 256 gig. So this is our Trident Z uh, 3400. And so this is RGB. We'll see how it goes. We're going with the Ryzen 7 2700, the Ducky 1-2 Mini all white edition. And then this is the Model O from Glorious. ROG Strix B450F Gaming Motherboard. All going to sit inside H510 NZXT white and black case. You ready? Ready! So open it. Whoa. Oh, it's so pretty. So this is the motherboard, and this are all the cables that came with over here. And this is called our CPU, this one here. And we're gonna put this little piece here. This is gonna go right here. Okay, so now what we gotta do is we're gonna take out these little brackets here. This screw, this screw, this screw, and this screw. Okay, so I removed the four screws and the brackets, and now we're going to put in our CPU. One hand, open this part. This is what we need here. Okay, so here's our CPU. This is the Ryzen 7 2700. Um, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna line up this little corner to that corner on the bottom left. And it should just fit right in without me having to put any pressure inside. Very good. And just make sure it's in, not putting any pressure. And then I'm going to clamp it down. Now our CPU is there. So now what we're gonna do, remember how daddy took these four screws out? So now daddy's gonna put the heat sink on, which is like the fan for the CPU. It ensures that this thing doesn't overheat so it's not too hot. Okay, so we took our heat sink out. This is gonna be our CPU fan, our CPU fan cooler. And so it already has thermal paste pre-applied here and it goes right there. Okay, so that was hard, huh, son? Yeah, pretty hard. I was having a hard time putting the screws. There's a back plate in there and I was having a hard time putting the heat sink on it and then screwing the screws into the back plate. I think it was because the, the box I was pushing in was pushing down on it, but I don't know for sure. So yeah. <laughs> yeah, so now we're gonna open our RAM. So like we said before, we have Trident Z DDR4. I think this is 32 megahertz and uh, it's RGB, which means it glows to different colors. Okay, so now we're gonna open our DIMMs um, and it looks like it's the a2 and B2, but to be sure, let me just check the manual real quick. Okay, so I was correct. So it is DIMMs A2 and B2, and now we're going to take our RAM, and we're going to put it in the slot gently. Okay, so... We don't have to put pressure on it. No, this one we do. So this one, we're going to have to put a little bit of pressure, okay? So we're just going to push it. Okay. Yay! There we go. And you hear it? we hear that sound. So we hear it click. Okay, we're gonna do that for the next one. Just like this. That's only supposed to be true. Okay, ready? So then we're gonna push it down till we hear it click. Very good. Whoa, it pops up. Very good. And the back part is in, front part is in, front and the back. Okay. And we installed our RAM. That's what it is. I actually 
put in the little CP, uh, CPU fan header. And so now this one comes in with a pre-installed uh, IO shield, uh, which is super dope. And now we're going to take the case, we're gonna put it down there, and then we're going to install the motherboard. Motherboard! Speaking of mothers. Mother. Hey, baby. Ah. <laughs> We're going to take out some thumb screws. I'm feeling <laughs> Shannon's new clothes. We're trying to sell this crib over here. Oh, Sunny, okay? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> is this fluffy? We got a, this is a carnage so far. The most important thing that they're excited about right now is opening Jon Snow. So I need to hurry up and build this thing. Okay, so we got the cage open, the our case. Got a bunch of screws and our motherboard is going to sit right here. And what's super dope about this case is it has our standoffs pre-installed. Um, and I'm pretty sure that the screws that I need to use are these ones over here. Because there's eight of these. So uh, we'll see. So I just tried to put the motherboard in, but there's one little standoff right in the middle. And uh, it came with this standoff screw. And I think I'm supposed to replace that. So we're going to try that right now. Okay, so here we go. I tried to do that uh, standoff thing that I was talking about, and I think it definitely helped. So we're going to lay this sucker down. Here we go. So what I was saying is like right here at this middle one, it wasn't a screw, it was just a standoff. And I think they did that because uh, this case can hold up to different uh, size motherboards. Um, but like I said, IO shield installed already. Um, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take those screws and I'm going to go into each one of these little areas over here like this one All the way around with the same pattern and I'm going to screw this sucker in and the motherboard should be installed All right update uh, After consulting this massive plan, uh, I figured out that <laughs> the screws are right here as so I don't have to guess So if you guys are trying to figure out what screws to use or you just don't know what to do and you feel lost Just check the manual bro. All right let me install those. All right, so the motherboard is in and I flipped the case back up, right side up, and now I'm going to install our storage, our ADA, ADA, our ADATA 2.5 SSD. All right, cool, so this is the back of the case. I just flipped it around, there's two drive bays here for uh, SSDs, which is gonna fit nicely here. Um, so I'm gonna put this here. Uh, I think, I don't know if it's supposed to go up or down, uh, but I'll install it the correct way when you see me next. So the clips here, would prohibit it from being the cables being run that way so it definitely goes this way <laughs> all right son what did we just do uh we did all the screws for what what is that thing called uh a solid state drive a solid state drive all right good enough so we installed it the cables are run underneath it um and then the uh, power supply will go over there but right now i think we're going to install our graphics card what do you think good all right let's do it Actually, I lied. I think we're gonna do the case cables first because they're just chilling here. Um, and as you can tell, my partner abandoned me. <laughs> so I was gonna do the graphics card just to, uh, so he can see something cool, but I think I'm gonna go and do the TV stuff right now. And uh, I'll be back, here we go. Okay, so after about forever, <laughs> I figured out that I hooked up some of the cables and I am about 90% sure that these are where all the cables go, apart from I know that the CPU fan header is there, um, but to connect the two fans, there's options. So I connected one of them there, and then I connected another one right next to the CPU fan, the CPU opt. Um, and then after that, uh, I have some cable mods. So I'm gonna do that, the sleeve cables. Um, one thing I forgot to mention is I totally, I don't have my power supply. As you know, it's not here, it's missing. Uh, it didn't come in Amazon, so I'm going to be waiting. So I'm gonna just install everything that I can um, and then install the power supply. <sighs> but to get ready, I think I'm gonna do some of the cable mods. So like, I'm gonna put in the, the connectors there and the one at the top, um, and then just shove the graphics card in there and plug that and then just route all the cables to the back and then just wait for the power supply. So let me see if I can get the cable mods first uh, and then we'll see where we are from there. Are you gonna help daddy? Yes. Okay, so what are we gonna do? Help daddy. You're gonna help daddy, okay. So we just unpacked our graphics card um, and it's going to go into the first slot at the top. I also removed uh, some of these over here. Oh, <laughs> she's distracted. So I'm gonna install the graphics card here and I removed some of the side so that we, we can fit the ports and uh, I'm gonna remove some of the rubber from the bottom of the graphics card and on the side over here and uh, oh, QRS 
So, so much for all the help. <laughs> all right, so we got our graphics card installed. Uh, and I actually had to move it down one. That was wrong, um, but that's good. And my partner is over there. All right, there we go. That's, uh, thanks for the help, Olivia. Um, <laughs> okay, so like I said, I got these uh, cable mods. I'm gonna see if I can just plug some in and just route it to the back and wait for the power supply. So let me see if I can get some of that connected. So my wife saw that I was struggling with these cable mods and she gave me some cantaloupe and I guess she gave it to Olivia. <laughs> oh yeah? You're the one now? Okay. Okay, all right. Anyways, so I'm doing these uh, cable mods and uh, it's pretty satisfying. It's nice. Uh, so I'm just gonna do this one and uh, a couple more and uh, we'll see how it goes. Okay, so this top one is giving me some problems because this one is actually a fusion cable. So I initially used this cable, um, which is almost an exact fit, almost. Um, except for it wants you to use this one. And this one is a fusion cable. I call it a fusion cable because uh, it's like Vegito, you know? You have two different split cables here, but when you put them together, make one. And uh, that's the one it wants you to use. So I just spent forever cable combing that one, and I ended it, and now I gotta go do this one. Wonderful. Cable bonding for a little bit, and look what my wife brought me. Some shredded chicken, spinach, avocado, cheese, and one tomato. Thanks, baby. Bro. Being married, it tastes awesome. Okay, well, I have routed as many cables as I could um, for the graphics card, um, some case cables, even down there. I'm kind of iffy about this one in here um, because it's the front panel case uh, pins, but because it could also slide to the right, I think. <clears throat> Excuse me, I think it could also slide to the right but I'm not sure about that. I'm also not 100% sure if that's where the fan's supposed to go. Um, it says chain fan one and then the AIO is right underneath it. Uh, not 100% sure on that one. I know for sure that the CPU fan goes there and I'm, uh, the, fan, the CPU option fan is underneath it, which is the top case fan. Ooh, not 100% sure on that one either. But after all that, I think this is a good stopping point until I get the power supply. Um, I'm gonna slap on the, the cover and the back plate and then uh, configure the desk a little bit. All right, well, uh, this is where we're gonna stop for now um, until we get the PSU, the power supply unit. Man, I'm really bummed that, look at this. It's just an empty hole, you know, it's just, <sighs> I need to fill that space with something. All right, well, the next time I see you, hopefully we'll be tomorrow. <laughs> we'll get the power supply unit. If not, then, Fast forward right now. Here we go. Three, two, one, go. And we're back. All right, babies, we got our power supply in. Are you guys ready to put this in? Yeah. Um, that's gonna go inside of our case. I prepped it already. Um, it's gonna go right inside here. So, uh, real quick, I I took off the fan, and I it was the AMD logo was over here, and my OCD was killing me. So I unmounted the fan. There are screws here, here that attach to the heatsink. So I unscrewed those four, rotated the fan so that the AMD logo is at the top. I also confirmed that the, the CPU fan, if you can see it's right there, right there, CPU fan. Uh, that's where the fan connects, but also I removed where it said CPU fan opt uh, because that's for AIOs, that's for all-in-one coolers. So I took that off and you can also tell that there is another cable there. That is for the RGB portion of the fan. So this fan actually does have RGB and I had to plug in the separate cable that is right there. Um, so that is that. I changed that. I also took off the, because the top fan was connected to the CPU opt, I took that off and I routed that down here. Um, if my phone would focus, would you like to get it? Okay. Uh, so I put it in the chassis fan two and there's also a chassis fan three if I had another fan here. Also confirm that that is where the case panel um, pin goes. And uh, I did some rewiring. I reinstalled the graphics card because I think it was lopsided uh, <laughs> when I put it in first. 
Um, but now we're gonna do the power supply, and then after the power supply, the last thing we have to do is the Jon Snow Funko Pop, which is the babies are really excited about. We connected all of the cables here, um, and we used some of the zip ties, oops, sorry, son. Um, and the cables are running along the case. Um, I shoved a lot of it inside the hard drive base, so if I had a hard drive, a mechanical hard drive, it would go in there. Um, but I use, I only really have the, the ADATA uh, SSD here. Um, I used one of the connectors there and uh, screwed in the power supply. So this power supply is here. Um, and it only took four of the hex screws uh, or the hexagon screws on the outside. Um, and I think it turned out okay. Uh, the last thing we have to do is... The John Snow! <laughs> yes, the John Snow. But before that, we have to plug in the plug and then put all the panels back on, put the John Snow in, and pray that it boots up. <laughs> okay, so this is what the setup looks like right now. Um, we have it all installed. Um, I think everything's connected properly. Everything is, I, ch I double checked after I routed the cables and turned the case around. Uh, we have our Windows 10 USB stick up there for when we need to install Windows. But before we do that, we have some unfinished business. We have something that goes right, right. there and it's missing and it's right there. <laughs> so uh, what's gonna happen is one of them is gonna get to open Jon Snow and the other one is going to get to put Jon Snow in his place to guard the wall. They're gonna rock, paper, scissors to see who gets to open Jon Snow. The loser gets to put Jon Snow in his place, or the winner gets to open the case, open the box. Ready? Here we go. We're only gonna do best of three. Here we go. So we got our side panel installed. Jon Snow is chilling. Uh, but now we uh, went ahead before this and pre-installed Windows 10 uh, operating system on this. All I have to do now is plug this in. And we're gonna turn it on. And hopefully everything turns on and boots. <laughs> Here we go. Wait, a quick word from our sponsor. So big thanks to today's sponsor. Guys, we don't have a sponsor. But uh, if you guys want to support your boy, uh, I stream live on Twitch <laughs> just whenever, or you can follow me on Twitter, uh, you can follow me on Instagram, and if you guys wanted to buy some merch, check this out. Hey, look at this merch, hey. It's called Sheeps Guang, S-H-E-E-P-S, Guang.com, and it's like Christian apparel, so if you guys want some dope Christian apparel to wear for Christmas, or just to show that you believe in Jesus! Chiefcom.com. Back to the video. And here we go. What? Nothing's turning on. <laughs> it didn't turn on because I didn't flip the switch back here. Here we go. Oh boy. So we have power. Oh, here we go! <laughs> Woo. I just want to thank my mom and my babies. We did it. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, that's it. Uh, we did it. You guys, you guys want to see what it looks like? You guys want to see the final product? Okay. Let's do it.